had a lot of requests for acid-base titrations. So here we go. What is the pH of a solution when you mix 75 milliliters of 0.2 molar HCl with 50 milliliters of 0.1 molar NaOH? A lot of information going on here. I'll show you exactly what to do. To solve any titration problem, you can just follow this four-step process if you're asked for the pH. Balance chemical reaction. Find the number of moles of each reactant. Assume that your reaction goes completely how much of each chemical remains, or how much did you produce. And then use those amounts to get a pH. So, let's do this. Write a balanced chemical reaction. HCl and NaOH together. HCl plus NaOH. Acid-base neutralization. The H from one reacts with the OH from the other. It gives us water. And what's left over? Well, I see sodium and chloride. So what's left over is sodium chloride. Doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. Bam. Balanced chemical reaction. That was me checking to make sure I had the same number of each atom on both sides. Calculate the number of moles of each reactant to start with. Well, how do you find the number of moles of HCl? Well, the answer is the number of moles is the concentration times the volume. So, for HCl, the concentration was 0.2 moles per liter and the volume was 0.075 liters. I divided milliliters by a thousand to get that. Doing this on my calculator, 0 0.2 times 0 0.075 I get 0.015 moles of that HCl. Got to do the same for my NaOH, you know. Concentration 0.1 molar. My volume 0. Point, well, make that so you can see it. 0 0.05 liters. When I multiply those, 0.1 times 0 0.05, I get 0.005 moles. Alright, which one do I have more of? This one. So, let me just write these below my chemical reaction for you. I have 0.015 moles of that, 0.005 moles of that. What do I make? Well, they react in a one-to-one -one ratio. So, I'm going to run out of this one first since it has the least. This is my limiting reagent. Obviously, all of my NaOH is going to be used up, so I now have zero of it. I'm going to use up that much of my HCl. I have that much remaining. And I can only make one of these for every one of these that I use up. So I'm going to get 0 0.05 of those and 0, 0.0, oh that's 0, 0.005, 0 0.005, 0 0.005. Okay, let's recap that. These two react, I ran out of this first. It all disappears. I notch this down by that amount because I'm reacting that much of it away, so I'm down to 0.01. And I make 0 0.005 of this, and I make 0 0.005 of that. Now that I've predicted how much of each chemical remains or was produced, I use those amounts to get the pH. All right, no NaOH. Don't have to worry about that in my calculation. Water doesn't affect pH at all, so I don't have to worry about that in my pH calculation. And NaCl also does not affect pH. I know that for a couple reasons. Number one, sodium is the conjugate of sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base, so the Na doesn't affect pH. This is the conjugate of hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid, so it doesn't affect pH. I'm sure you could also look up a Ka or Kb for NaCl and just see that it's astronomically low. 
Long story short, these salts aren't often going to factor into the calculation. That doesn't affect pH at all either. What does? The HCl does. And how do you calculate the pH when you already have the concentration of your strong acid? Piece of cake, son. The pH is negative log of the concentration of H+. In this case, because it's a strong acid, it's the negative log of 0 0.01. And so my resulting pH is negative log of 0 0.01. The pH of the resulting solution is 2. Good work, everyone. But again, this is how you do it. Balanced chemical reaction, check. Number of moles of each reactant, check. Assume complete reaction and figure out how much of these remain and how much of these are produced. Check. Use that information to get your pH. Doesn't affect pH because there's none left. Doesn't affect pH because it's water. Doesn't affect pH because it's one of these loser salts that doesn't affect the pH. The only thing that does affect it is leftover HCl and that gives me a pH of 2. Best of luck.